Sidious. Vader. Sidious. Vader. Sidious. Vader. <laughs> <laughs> I find your lack of faith disturbing. The Alliance will die, as will your friend. As you can see, my young apprentice, your friends have failed. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Hey! Why are you guys fighting? To see who's a better Darth. Vader. Or, or Sidious. Can't we all just appreciate Star Wars for what it really is? A beautiful work of cinematography and special effects geniusness. Actually, we can. On Monday, December 21st, during winter break, Mr. Mitchell is hosting a Star Wars Force Awakens viewing in IMAX 3D. At 10 a.m. at Thornton Place across from Northgate Mall. Buy your tickets soon, because they will sell out. <laughs> My fiance and I have almost been in three accidents involving students. Just from the beginning of the school year. I've been living one block away from Shorecrest for three years now. The amount of extreme speeding I'm seeing from your students this year is unacceptable. As well as the dangerous driving. Just yesterday... Right in front of your school, a student driver went into the oncoming lane speeding to get around a line of cars. I know that high schoolers are just kids and... When I tell them to slow down, they usually just speed up. I would be willing to talk to the Shoreline police, as well as take video footage of the unlawful... Driving by Shorecrest students but only if it means you're going to help get a police presence at your school. So our neighborhood can feel safe again. When you speed, you take all kinds of unnecessary risks. It will often result in getting a ticket. There's more to it. It goes beyond this. It's amazing worse hasn't happened already with the kind of dangerous conditions we're creating for ourselves. So if you speed, ask yourself why. Is speeding really more important than the cost of a ticket? The ramifications of an accident? The risk of taking a human life. Shorecrest. 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 Please drive safe. I'm Matt Weitzel. I'm a 10th grader. So basically when I was born, uh, I was like, when they were originally giving me my original like, shock when you get with me or a baby, uh, I couldn't feel it and I was not crying. So I had a biop, my mom and dad decided to have, let me have a biopsy. So they biopsied my leg and found out that I have this rare disorder called sensory hereditary neuropathy, uh, type two, which means I cannot feel anything in my hands, my feet, or my knees. So basically, if I was to break a bone, like my hand, I would not feel that. And what's really common with this disability is like falling because I didn't have very balance, I still don't. And your joints get really swollen and basically they get progressively worse, which is called charco joint. So, uh, that's the reason I had to have my knee amputated back in 2013. And uh, basically they tried to save the knee, they did basically everything they could from uh, 2010 putting in staples in, which my body rejected. So that didn't work and I was basically in the power chair because I can't walk really that well or long distances without getting exhausted. The strongest I deal with at school is usually mobility and kind of getting around. Uh, the school has actually been very helpful with that. Uh, I get to ride, I have ride the elevator to the floors and when the elevator is down I basically am stuck on the first floor. I was not born with my fingers like this. I know people ask that a lot. My fingers were not like this. Uh, when I was a baby I did chew on my hands, my fingers. And uh, after surgeries and surgeries, that's kind of what happens. If you don't see me around for a few weeks, that normally means I'm in the hospital because I am constantly, uh, I am very infection prone. It's not fun <laughs> being in the hospital at all. Well, all right, well, I'm Matt, and I'm out. Bye, guys.
the green stairs. Breaking news of kids walking on the wrong side of the stairs. Did you know you're supposed to walk on the right side? It's not that hard. Walking on the left side of the stairs can cause collisions and injuries. Go on! Go on! Remember to walk on the right side of the staircase. It's safer. Alright, let's go. What are you doing? What are you doing? Go, go, go on a class, man. I don't know. What, what do you think this is? You, think this is, you can just do this? this, this, this? I, don't, I don't know, like lunch or something. I don't know. So what do you think this is then? Huh? Throw it away! You like that? That's right. Do it. Yeah. ambassadors for Shark Crest. Um, we meet uh, twice a semester. Um, this is run by Miss Elwell. She's our advisor. I'm Lou Yu. I'm an ambassador. And uh, we help students, you know, new students. And uh, he's an ambassador too. She is too. We Same name, them. guys. I'm Josh. We help them give tours. I'm Michaela Sullivan and we help them up Shark Crest. Shark Crest is pretty great, you see. So, we want new students to get to know about it, and that's what we do. Become one of us, an ambassador. You know, it's lacrosse club. We bro out with the bros, you know. Just do bro stuff, eat some pizza, you know. Well, lacrosse club is full of lacrosse enthusiasts, and you don't even need to play lacrosse to uh, join the lacrosse club. If you just like, you know, enjoying pizza, then uh, you can come join, but just don't eat my Hawaiian pizza. How much pizza do you guys eat? A lot. Like, a box per person almost. I'm the face of all lacrosse club, just know that, you know. My name is Dulce, and I'm the president of BSU. My name is Susina and I'm VP of BSU. Uh, my name is Miriam and I'm an officer of BSU. BSU stands for Black Student Union and what we do varies a lot. We go from celebrating black culture to uh, spreading knowledge about social injustices. Um, we meet on Thursdays during lunch in Mr. Gannon's room and 350. Um, you definitely don't have to be black to join. Anyone can come. start with a speaker talking about an overview of what kinds of aid you might apply for and be eligible for. Then there will be breakout sessions, so if you signed up for the college-bound scholarship in middle school, you should come to Financial Aid Night to hear specifically about that scholarship. If you think you're going to have to fill out the CSS profile, if you are applying to a selective college, you should come to Financial Aid Night to hear specifically about that profile. Direct Club is a really great opportunity to get your hours in and so 
much fun to meet new people and, and just get out there and help the community. Hi, I'm Ms. Knudsen, the Drug and Alcohol Counselor, and I'm in room 216. I'm here at Shorecrest on Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays. In my office, you can come hang out, chill out. It's a place where you can just be yourself, sit in the comfy chair, get gum, get candy, you know, drop by whenever. Students can come talk to me if they have questions about a friend's drug and alcohol use a family member's drug and alcohol use or their own use, you can just stop by my office and make an appointment or you can sign up on the sign up sheet that's located outside my door. When does the girls' basketball trials start? November 16th. At what, what time? 5.15 to 7.15. You should come. Contact Dory Monson for any more information. Ball is white. <laughs>